Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough of death. Let's go ahead and slow down time with the inverted song of time. I don't think I'm going to bother getting that rupee chest over at the uh, corner of Clock Town because, well, well, I have a better rupee making method now. <laughs> So now, oh wait, wait, actually, you know what, as long as I'm here, um, I should go grab some fish. Because I know of a relatively easy fish grabbing- oh no no, I didn't want to- mm. Wait, actually, what do you have to say? Um, this poster's nice, though. what a sorry collection of cowards. Blech! What's this say, anyway? Oh shoot, I can't- can't check the poster? Okay, there we are. Recruiting soldiers, protect peace, and uphold justice with us, course, recruiter, Vincent. That's the duder that's, uh... Complaining at the mayor, I do believe, <laughs> with the other workers. Anyway, um, so Stockpot Inn has a good place to get some fish. So let's go... oh yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go inside via the unlocked door. <laughs> Whoops, I'm stuck on the post. That is okay, though. Yeah, we're just gonna go flip-flop around and just gonna break in... Well, it's technically not a break-in, I guess, if the uh, door is open for us. <laughs> so, over at the kitchen, remember there were some bugs? Well, you can also get a fish over there, and I'm gonna try and get four fish here, probably with some cuts. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna go over to the uh, kitchen. By the way, um, that grandma's side quest over here, uh, you can't do without a mask, so that's why I held it off until later. And anyway... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go, oop, whoop, whoop, I am going to go plop those on the said buttons and get myself a fish. Now, you notice that there's only one fish here. Well, the reason why I decided to come here rather than some other location to get fish is because I can get them to respawn fairly quickly. I just go out and then I go back in and then sure enough there's another fish there when I get back over there so what I'm gonna have to do is do this a couple more times and uh, I, I think it's probably best if I should you know cut ahead just saying <laughs> you know I wonder if it would be a little bit faster if I could use the front door because you notice that Link is pretty sluggish when going up and down the stairs I think he's trying to be extra careful so he doesn't fall or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, here is fish number four. Voila! And I probably should have put my ocarina set to something ahead of time as well, but eh, it's fine. All we need to do is just go into our menu screen and get her out, and I already did that, so... What I was talking about was moot, so... <laughs> I can do it faster than I can talk about it. So now, remember I said I was gonna feed some fish over here at that marine research lab type place where the Zora eggs are? Well, actually, the eggs aren't there now because I reset time, but <laughs> you know where this place is. <laughs> but yeah, the eggs are... Oh, in this particular timeline, the eggs are unsaved, and the fish are incredibly hungry. That's a huge fish. I bet that fish could eat a small fish in a single bite. Hmm, I wonder, huh? I wonder. Well, let's feed the fish. <laughs> this is this is a pretty funny thing that happens. There's a fish that goes around there, just like, mmm, delicious. And then he grows up a little bit. And then we plop another fish in there. And he's gonna eat another one. <laughs> go, fish, go! And there we go. He's getting bigger. And it's only one fish getting bigger, too. Okay, let's plop those and get ourselves a little bit bigger fish. Oh, wait. That second one grew up a little bit now. But what happens if we put a fourth fish in here? Well, the big one eats the fish. And then... Yeah. Uh, what? What? You're only supposed to need four fish for that. Is it because the other one ate a fish and it wasn't supposed to? Oh, dang it. <laughs> Gotta go back. 
<laughs> over to the stock pot in for maybe I'll just grab a couple more fish just to be sure. But yeah, I'm almost positive you should only need four fish for that. But I think it's because the other one got a fish before the other one. It doesn't usually do that. <laughs> You know, I'm sure that I only needed four fish to do this before. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I waited until I had four bottles for the sake of convenience. All right, let's see what'll happen this time. Uh, okay, the big fish got the fish, became bigger, and there we go. Yeah, he's supposed to eat the smaller fish to become supersized, and then he spits out a piece of heart out of happiness. So yeah, I guess he. Four or five fish. My mistake, <laughs> but I'm sure I was able to do it with four before. So yeah, that's that is one really big fish now. But he's a really happy and full fish. <laughs> and anyway, now what I'm gonna be doing is a little bitty side quest that we gotta do over at uh, the Termina Field. We're looking for various holes in the ground. Basically, and what we're going to be trying to do is transforming large um, gossip stones into different colors. Basically, we got to play the same song to change them to the same color. Basically, and uh, th thus you mean, I mean, thus I mean, you got to have just one of the songs that are colored. Like, you could have Sonata of Awakening, Goron Lullaby, New Wave of Bossa Nova, any any one of these will work, just as long as it's got a colored note next to it. And what I'm going to be looking for are those particular holes. The issue, though, is that I kind of forgot where the poop those holes are. <laughs> you know, I probably actually should be a uh, Goron for this, though, just for the sake of speed. You know, for looking around and whatnot. Just kind of... Ah! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to pluck the grass. I wanted to roll. There we go. <laughs> ah! I was not spiky yet. Hmm. So yeah, I'm looking for a particular hole and trying not to use my magic power here too. And I also don't want to get a bottle stolen from me or something like that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, there we go. This was the one. This was the one. Yes. See, there's a... There's a stone. It's a big stone. And, uh, it's kind of being guarded at the moment. <laughs> so, now if we were to put on... Oops. Well, actually, I can do that and that. Transform out of this. Put on this mask. And then let's let's tap. Let's talk to them. This mystical stone said that the thud. Repetitive. It seems all the strange stones that are arranged in a row wish to be the same color. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Repetitive. Face of a slightly larger strange stone changes when the guitar of waves is played. Uh huh. This one says the pipes of awakening are played. And. This one also says the drums of sleep are played. Well, supposedly, but what we're, we're trying to do is get them all to be the same color, so it doesn't. Th those hints are kind of misleading in a way. <laughs> so anyway, uh, oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, so yeah, let's play. A song here. I'll just use the Sonata of Awakening here. And uh, what? Uh, wait. Do I have to be different masks? I I kind of forgot. Come to think of it. Okay. Let's just try it with this mask here and see if we get a different result. <laughs> So yeah, basically all I'm doing is looking to trigger a certain... Oh, there we go. So yeah, you did have to be specific on the, uh, the, the type of pipes that you're using here. So, alright. So that one is done. Now we gotta go find another one. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, again, I don't really remember exactly where those suckers are. And by the way, you can jump... I should show you this here really quick. You can jump over that uh, big log there in the middle here. I just want to give myself enough running room here. You just kind of roam around here and you just go, Wee! Like a... At least you're supposed to be able to. <laughs> 
and there's also a treasure chest over here, um, as long as I can get it, just for the heck of it, I'll show you what it is. I believe it's just rupees, so, big whoop, I know I'm gonna, a choo-choo's coming to, a choo-choo's coming to attack me, but I thought, eh, I could probably get up there quicker than it would get to me, but no, no, it didn't. <laughs> I mean, no, nope, nope, I didn't. Alright, there's a red rupee, voila, let's keep exploring. <laughs> I think there be one over here by the uh, observatory. Um, because if, if I recall, you can see that there's a hole over the fence type. Yep, from the other side. I think I pointed it out to you before. Uh, there we go. Okay, see that? Yeah, see that? Now the, the, it's got a it's, the, it's the color. Whoa, what are you? I've launched it into outer space. It has come back. <laughs> Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go back to my ocarina, actually. Uh, la, and there we go. I don't know if this is the one that requires the drums, per se, but let's just see if I can transform it into a... Uh, nope. Okay. How about the guitar? How about that? <laughs> Dang trial and error, giblets. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Let's try regular link. <laughs> yes. So, we did the pipes. That means the other ones are either Zora or Goron, I, pre I presume. No, what? Or are they... Or do you have to be a Deku for all of them? Because, you know, we're trying to transform them all into the same color here. So, yeah, that's kind of a thing that we need to do. And this, this sort of trial and error giblet is not something that's friendly to me. Okay, so I guess we do them all like the Deku. Alright, so, yeah. I guess maybe it's not that trial and error-ish, then, if you just stay as the same form. But, eh, well. <laughs> or maybe you have to be a Deku for the Sonata of Awakening, or a Goron for the Goron Lullaby, you know, that transform their colors and whatnot. Maybe. Uh, I, I, I just recall Ollie just turning them green some way. <laughs> as I said, I don't really have the game super mega memorized or anything like that, because you know, I, I don't I don't like to spend too much time playing this game that I don't have to. <laughs> uh, looking for another hole around here. Uh, there's one basically at each of the four exits of Termina Field. Oh, there's another song if you'd like to play that for uh, more rupees there. But eh. <laughs> I've got a better rupee source than that. Um, I don't think this was the hole. Cause this hole just contained that, uh, yeah, it just contained the double the dongo. So, uh, I, I could have swore there was a rock to break over here though, as a Goron. So that might be what I'm remembering. Like maybe it wasn't in that particular lower area. Maybe it was at a higher area that I break something apart. Cause you know there's still um, this particular area up here. So I'll just take a peek see. Up and around and see if uh, my hunch is correct so it's kind of kind of hard to tell actually um, I'm just gonna keep looking around here until I find something because I don't think it was over in the other area I thought they were all all four of them are over here at Termina Field somewhere hey wait a second this boulder here near that clock town's exit there's a hole this might be the hole that I thought was over by the snowy area. Okay, so it was. All right, so let's go play the Sonata of Awakening and transform another one to its green self. And then there is, I believe, one more. I think. Somewhere, <laughs> yeah, there's gotta be somewhere, some, one more, because, well, I don't have a heart piece just yet, so, I'm gonna go check down the, uh, other side, like, you know where, what, there was the deserty area type place, because I already got the one from the, 
milk road area there, you know, the foresty area. I got the one at the snowy area. I got the one over there at the Astral Observatory, so then that means the last one's gotta be up around here somewhere <laughs> with all these real live bomb shoes. That should be fun to look around for stuff. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. How did I miss this before? Is this where the... another hole is? Or is this the rock that I... Oh, no, this isn't! I was gonna say, is this the... the place where I... punched a rock open? But no, this one isn't transformed yet. So... that means this is the last one. It wasn't at that area like I thought it was. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm at the wrong form anyway. I have to be that, yeah. Alright. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> and there we go. That should be the last one, and we should get a piece of heart out of it. They have all transformed into the same color! And we get the piece of heart. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> now. I'm gonna go fly over to um, Zora Cape now because I'd like to do one more little side quest now that I have the power of the hook shots that I can do stuff with. And because I suspect that I've done a lot of cuts in this part already. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do here is go into Zora form and also get out. The, oops, uh, I just want to get all my tools out here at once, there we go. I think that's all I will need, and now I will... Oh, wait, 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 actually, I will do one other thing here, just for the sake of showing you things. Now, uh, remember that uh, super fan that wanted a picture of Lulu? Yeah, just give a... Uh, that'll do. <laughs> I might as well do that as well. Alright, so then I want that out, and in we go. I think, I think, I think, yeah, we're gonna be near this particular area, so actually, I should have this out immediately, because it's, it'll be fastest to just show that guy the picture of Lulu here really quick. So, uh, how's it going there? Ah, Macau. Hey, what's Lulu doing now? <laughs> Remember this dialogue? Yeah, of course you do. A pictograph? How about this for a pictograph? Oh, Lulu's face. It's irresistible! Please let me have this, okay? Okay? And it'll give you a red rupee for that. <laughs> Keep the change. I didn't know I was expected to like give you a couple rupees back or something. This kind of pictograph will take as many as you have, so bring more! So basically he can, uh, you can do that as many times as you want to and you can get rupees that way, but it's still much, much faster to actually do it via that, uh, um, Takuri... Oh! <laughs> via that Takuri... I just bashed my face to the ground. Via that Takuri, um, you know, orange rupee drop, basically, out at, at Termina Field. Alright, so now what I'd like to go and go and do is go pop on in, over in here and listen to this song. Listen. Do. Hmm? You, do you recognize that song? Yeah, he's playing the underground song in Link's, Link's Awakening. <laughs> Mikhail, where have you been? Where have you been? I've been worse worried. This concert in town is coming up. I bet you didn't know that, huh? Uh, so it's just the same dialogue as before. Just thought, uh, not really. So yeah, we already heard that before when we were doing the, the dialogue from before. Um, I do believe that there are other songs that he plays if you go in and out. If I recall correctly, let... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just had to get in my way again. Okay, let's listen again. Uh, this actually sounds like the same song. Yeah, but I could have swore that you could play... Oops. You could play... I mean, you could hear him play different songs. Oops. What am I doing? I want to get out of this. That's what I want to do. So basically, 
I want to get up here now that I have the hook shot. And you'll notice that there is something over here. Can you can you read Zora's script? No, I can't. So I'll transform into a Zora. But ow, oh, my diary. Today, Japas and I had a jam session. He's not good with words, but he writes great riffs. Here's what I played. Write that down. <laughs> Got it? She seemed to like it a lot. Lucy was a pretty great girl, after all. Today, I had another jam session. He was in a bad mood because the two of us are writing songs on our own. But... Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> this will make sense when when the time is right. Even called me over this morning. There is something about Lulu. He was in a real rush. I wonder what it could be. By the way, it seems my lucky color this week is green. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go out of here and uh, let's go and now flop over to this room here. Macau, do you need to see Japaz? You're gonna have another jam session with him, aren't you? I can't wait. Remember that, that book said jam session? Yeah, so about that jam session. Hey, how's it going there? <laughs> uh, actually, I might just be able to whip this out and... Oh, no, I can't. Uh, maybe I have to speak with him. Oh, that's right, you can't be too close to him. Because of the detection. Macau, where have you been? Well, like, hey, where's Macau? A concert's coming up soon. Now our band leader is pulling a vanishing act. Evens all holed up in his room, just writing songs. And to top it all off, Lulu just stands out back staring at the sea. She doesn't even respond when you talk to her. If you guys think it's just because Lulu's uninterested in me, I'd understand. I'm telling you, it looks like something's really wrong. Is there something you're trying to hide from me? I'm not running an inquiry or anything, <laughs> but look, if you don't start rehearsing real soon, we're not going to be ready for the concerts. Okay, now whip out the ocarina. Huh? You want to have a jam session? Try following this phrase I wrote on your guitar, and this is where you, um, this is why you write down the, the giblets, uh, basically. <laughs> so. Do, 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 do. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whoa, that's nice. Oh, yeah. I got it! I got it! I got it! Here I go! It's the uh, first one and the second one. <laughs> hmm? Oh yeah. Oh. Woo! Rocking out. Even practice can be fun if you're in a jam session. <laughs> Woo! And everyone's just like listening along. Aha! Free concerts! We don't have to buy tickets! <laughs> and then, that's got a good feel to it. Even Even should like this. But, he's so proud. He'd resent the fact that he wrote something on our own. I don't think he'd even let the others try it out. What do you think we should do? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. What if we were to say, you know, go back over to over here. Here. Oh wait. Uh uh hold on a sec. Is this the right room? No, no, this isn't. I don't think this is the right room. Uh are you I forgot if your name is even. Um Oh wait. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> uh, uh, huh? Let's see here. Uh, no, that's not the right one. What am I thinking here? <laughs> I think I'm looking for the piano guy, actually. No, no, wait, that's not the right way. No, 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 no. Uh, so skip that room. It might be this one. I think it's this one, actually. Uh huh. Even the bandly. There we go. There we go. I was gonna say I didn't think that was the right one. I don't know why I went to that other one. So yeah, he's got. Was I ever in here before? Oh, this is where you hear other Zelda songs. Listen, it's a game over song. <laughs> okay, Mikael, how was it? Did you get the eggs back? Um. Yes. 
Oh, you couldn't do it after all. <laughs> Have you been to see Lulu out and back by the ocean? Basically, if you showed him an egg, he'd say to take it to that research lab. Ever since the pirate sold her eggs, she's just been standing out there, gazing at the sea and sighing. Macau, you need those eggs saved so Lulu can get her voice back! You've grown accustomed to life in a peaceful sea. The only one among the Zora tribe was still able to go to blows with those wild pirates. It is you, with the blood of the Zoran heroes flowing within you. I'm still keeping Lulu's problem secret from the other band members. I've all been looking forward to it, Colonel. I'm pretty sure the other ones know about it as gossip spread. And I can't tell them it's cancelled because Lulu can't sing, can I? Okay, um... Uh, let's just see here. Anyway, Macau, did you get an empty bottle that you can use to carry the eggs in? Yep. One bottle can only hold one egg, so you can never have too many empty bottles. I told you that the beavers above the waterfall on Zora Hall Coast have empty bottles, right? Well, now you did. <laughs> if you don't have any yet, Mikao should go there uh, before heading off to the Pirate's Fortress. Um... Oh, I remember, I remember. You're supposed to take that off. Ah, if Lulu's voice doesn't return, I don't know what we can do. Hey, how'd you get in here? I shouldn't have to put up with this. People not associated with the band aren't allowed in here. Because remember, uh, he said that if... Uh, you know, he wanted to come up with the song, quote-unquote, on his own. So, um, if I were to... Uh, I thought... What is this? You can't just come into people's room and make yourself at home. What? I just swore that... Hmm, how did this go? I forgot how this went. Hmm... Hold on, I might have to look this up. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You are just supposed to play your ocarina behind them, and then play that completed song... Uh, that, that was not correct. Um... There we go, yeah, that that whole song that we got to before, I should have said to write it down, because I forgot all about that. <laughs> but when I looked it up, I was like, oh, oh yeah, that, that's kind of important, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, he's like, oh, that song, it works, it works, it works! So yeah, once you get that whole song together, then he'll uh, kind of pop it together on his piano... Oh yeah. I'm not sure how that piano works, and it looks a little crusty, but it works pretty well. <laughs> it's even got blood on the keys. Delightful. Actually, I don't know what that is, but it does look like some sort of fish skeleton of sorts. And it just very well might be, considering it's got a head in front. Alright. Not bad. That's a pretty good song I just made up. What?! you got a good sense of melody. We'll play my new song on our next show. Take this and thanks! There we go, there's that piece of heart that I was looking for, and I'm glad that I looked it up because I didn't write down anything other than that first portion of it from the diary. <laughs> that is okay with me. You're not thinking I'm selling your song, do you? I mean, you're, th you're not thinking I'm stealing your song, do you? What is this? You, oh, sure, now you're, you're gonna be like that? Fine, fine, be like that. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough side questing for now, so... What I think I'm going to do here is go and flop out... ...side and go save at that owl statue. Not not up there, that isn't the correct way to the owl statue. The correct way is this way, you know, between the split path between that upper level... And the, uh, the the shop and the back door, basically. So yeah, there's the shop over there. And here is the other area that leads over to the Owl Statue. Yes. And then I think in the next part, I'm going to begin the next dungeon. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I know, I know! So yeah, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy. And I will see you in the next part when uh, hopefully I don't have to look up stuff. <laughs>